friends, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to give you an update today on my journey with taking Mgality. For those of you who've been around, you know I started in September. The doctor, the neurologist that I saw in September that I did not like <laughs> gave me my initial loading doses. Um, so at, she, the nurse gave me one in each arm in the back of my arm. That was not pleasant and they did not warm it up at all. Great tip that some of you gave me was before you do the injection <laughs> to set it out to let it warm up a little bit because when you do it straight from the fridge, whoo, burns. I mean, it still burns when you when you do the injection, but if you don't let it warm up a bit, it is even worse. So that was a really fantastic tip from the community, which I appreciate. So I will definitely pass it on to anybody doing any of those injections. It makes a huge difference. And when you do the injection, I've been doing it in my thigh. So I did the initial dose in September. Um, so September, October, November, December, January. So my January loading dose is, I don't know what day I'm posting this, but it's the 13th. That's the day I do it every single month. I'd been doing it in my thigh, which it still, it still burns, but usually it burns like when you're doing the injection and then within like seconds after I'm done doing it, it really doesn't bother me at all. I haven't had any adverse reactions as far as like bruising or anything like that. So I've been really fortunate that the injections have gone well. I've had a ton of hair loss and I can't quite determine if it is just my postpartum hair loss or if it's a combination with the emgality because it kind of coincided around the same time of when you start having postpartum hair loss is the same time I was starting the injections. But I can't remember losing this much hair with my other two kids. Like, this is the most postpartum hair loss that I've ever had in my life. Like, my hair looks okay right now. It's just, like, the way that I styled it and, like, curled it. But, like, I have literal, like, bald patches on my head. And I do not remember it being that intense with the other two kids. So, and a lot of you, I put out a poll and stuff on Instagram and a lot of you have said that you've noticed some hair loss too. But the funny thing is, is that when you talk to the doctor, at least when I talked to the original doctor that I don't like, and I asked about side effects, she basically acted like there was none. <laughs> I'm like, I know that's not true because I have a community of people that I get to talk to and discuss things with, and I know that there aren't zero side effects. So that's frustrating when you're asking a doctor what you can expect and they just are like, oh, it's fine, no big deal. Well, it is a big deal when you're the person that's taking the medication and you're deciding, you know, how long you're going to take it, what effects you can be on the lookout for and all of that. So yeah, that's frustrating, but I don't really know if it's just postpartum or if it's a combination, but I feel like it probably is a combination. I don't go see my new neurologist until March. <laughs> I definitely am kicking myself for not making the appointment sooner because you know when you go see a specialist a lot of times you have to wait a long time. I feel like I was pretty traumatized after my appointment in September and I also am a person that absolutely hates making any kind of medical phone calls and my kids were sick for basically the entire month of October and I was stressed out and I was just overwhelmed. I have no problem making phone calls when it comes to them and like taking care of them, but when it comes to taking care of myself, I often push it to the back burner, which I know a lot of us do and it's not, not good. I waited and unfortunately, I have to wait until March to see this new doctor. But in the meantime, I'm still doing the Mgality injection once a month and I feel like that gives me a good opportunity by the time that I go see this new person in March, I can discuss with her how I've been feeling, how I feel like it's working or not working and we can make adjustments based on me taking it for quite a long time. So as far as how I think it's helping versus not helping, I think that it is definitely helping. I still am in pain every single day. That's not something that has changed. But the difference is I feel like I maintain a lower level of pain, low to mid-range pain most of the time. 
there's been very few times that I get into the super high pain range, which has been a blessing, especially having a new baby. But the thing is, is like, I wish that I could take it every maybe three weeks because, or even every two weeks, because I can tell, like right now, I'm a, like, you know, 10, 10 ish days out from being able to take the injection again, and my body can feel it. And I don't like that. I don't like that it's coming down and it's not really lasting and sustaining the entire time that I need it to. I just don't think that once a month is good enough. And the only other thing that I have to take right now are triptans, which it's kind of pointless. As you know, when you have pain all the time, you're supposed to take a triptan like at the beginning of an attack. But when you're in like a full attack all the time, even if you're in lower pain, taking that's not really very effective. And I don't like taking it when I know that it's not really going to work. Plus you only have nine of those pills a month. So it's really hard to decide when to take it, when not to take it, when I think it might work. It's not something that I take and I know it's going to make me feel better. So that's frustrating. I'm hopeful that when I go see this new person that they will have some different ideas or different um, options for me. But as far as the actual Mgality goes, I am definitely glad that I tried it. I've been waiting a really long time to be able to take these kinds of medications and I know that there are other ones out there. I know there are other ones that I can try and it might be an option when I go see my new doctor but I'm just thankful that now that Clay is here and he's sweet, happy, healthy baby and I can finally focus on myself and my own health and start taking a lot of things that for years I have had to put off because of fertility issues and trying to get pregnant. So I'm just really excited that I can finally take this medication and I can't definitively say whether I'm going to stay on it or not, but as of right now, I'm still on it and I'm still trying it and I'm, I'm better, <laughs> I'm better on it than off of it, if that makes sense. It's not, um, obviously it's not a cure because there is no cure for migraine, but it is definitely a helpful tool to have. I'll let you know in the future, in March, when my appointment comes around, the update when that happens, whether she decides to put me on something else, because I know that some people, um, react better to the other options that are out there. So I will definitely keep you guys posted and let you know. Comment below if you have tried Mgality and what your experience has been because I think that, you know, obviously every person is different and I'm not sharing this to say like, oh, you should get on this or you should try that. I'm sharing just so that there are stories of experiences that people have with different medications. I'm not endorsing it for anybody. I'm just saying this is my experience because I know that a lot of times, just like when, you know, I'm asking the doctor for information or how it affected other people or, you know, then they try to act like there's no side effects. And I know that that's not true because we have this fantastic community that can openly communicate about our experiences taking different medications or the impact that it's had on us with the understanding that we are all different and we all experience medications and this illness differently. And I think that's really important to keep in mind. So I don't want you to come here thinking that I'm like waving my flag and like saying, yes, go take this and like cheering for a certain kind of medication. I just want to express my own experience so that somebody else might benefit from it or get information from it and we can have an ongoing conversation about it. So I hope that this was helpful and if you guys are taking any Mgality or any of the other injections that are similar, I would love to hear about your experiences and I would also love to hear if you have experienced any kind of hair loss with taking these because I definitely think that that's been a side effect for me and mixing that with my postpartum hair loss. It's kind of a hot mess over here. So I hope that you guys have a fantastic week and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.